It might seem like a bit of a stretch, but there are concerns the arrest of Huawei's CFO Meng Wanzhou will depress Vancouver home prices. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more. So Tyler, explain this to us. Well, it's the conclusion being drawn from the influential business journal Barron's. It's citing a report from Hong Kong-based Smart Karma Insight Provider. And this is really significant due to Barron's global reach among investors. The report states that the arrest of Monk is sounding a lot of loud signals to Chinese property investors and economic migrants to Canada. And it says that Canada's actions could cause Chinese migrants to reconsider their overall commitment to Canada. Now, what this would do with regards to price corrections, let's be honest, we're already seeing that price corrections are unfolding here in Metro Vancouver. However, the report is saying that this would actually help them gain momentum towards that. That said, uh, Royal LePage market forecast just came out yesterday, and it is not expecting any significant price corrections in 2019. It is expecting prices to actually gain about 0.6% in the coming year. I have to say this, though, it would not be a Metro Vancouver real estate story if we're not getting conflicting information. So <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see how this unfolds. But as I said, I would count on this more having an overall kind of uh, kind of a, a cuts by a thousand paper uh, paper cuts sort of effect here versus uh, this being the big jumping off point for any depression in local prices. Yeah, for sure. There's a, a lot of different factors at play. Um, another story you're following today, a, a review of wholesale uh, liquor sales or liquor distribution in our province. Yeah, the, the BC government will be hiring an as yet unnamed person to conduct this independent review. And it follows the commissioning of a larger scale review of liquor policy from 13 months ago that was handled by liquor policy lawyer Mark Hicken. Now, the report was later released back in April with 23 suggestions. And one of the notable recommendations here that I think we should be paying attention to was that restaurants should be able to buy alcohol at wholesale prices as well as from private stores. Currently, restaurants are required to pay full retail prices from government stores. So look, nothing set in stone right now, but it might be possible that restaurateurs could get a break on alcohol prices to help out at the margins. This is following the upcoming report. Now, whether or not those price savings would be passed on to patrons, it's anyone's guess, but I would like to think that uh, restaurants like to be competitive and whatever will bring people through the door, maybe that'll do so. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver joining us today. Thanks, Tyler. Thank you, Sonia.